Hey what's up guys, it's Apollo Uchiha here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a new short movie. The name of this short movie is What If Naruto Was The Reincarnation Of Omni-Man And Conquered The Elemental Nations. And yeah guys, it is an unscripted short movie. Now before continuing this, shout out is due, it is due, shout out to Gavin Marcus for suggesting this idea. Now before continuing this, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel and yeah, thank you for you know giving me feedback as well as leaving comments like you know just supportive or you know your ideas i will be getting to them soon so stay tuned for that as well in the meantime enjoy today's story so make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel and without any further ado let's begin with our today's short movie our story begins nine years after the qb attack in konoha gakarin Sato, as we go towards the said village to see that it was october 10th in night time while most of the people were busy, while drinking themselves to sleep or while reminiscing about the horrors of the night, we see a bunch of people chasing after someone, the bane of their sorrows, the Jinchuriki of the Nine Tails, the demon in human skin Naruto Uzumaki as they claimed him to be, and the nine-year-old boy who was orphan resident Jinchuriki of Konoha unbeknownst to him, was trying his best to outlive this night because he knew that for the past few years he has been getting this cold treatment and whenever he was around others he would get beaten or chased out and on his birthday night the aggression increased tenfold and they would try to literally kill him. Last few birthdays he was lucky enough to well get to the hospital thanks to one of the Anbus helping him in the nick of time. So he knew that he had to avoid until he gets here as that is when an unfortunate accident happened. He turned into a dead end. He tried his best to grip the wall so that he could climb to the other side but it was too high enough and he was getting down backwards to the ground as tears welled up in his eyes. No, 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 no. As that is when he was yanked and shoved against the wall by the neck choke. As that is when his gaze fell upon something and widened. There on the rooftop laying against the wall was the same Hanbu that rescued him a few times before and he was just standing there doing nothing and he was waving even at him. As Naruto's smile of relief turned into horror when he looked towards the man in front of him with a sinister smirk as he called him, Now, demon, we will avenge our fallen brothers and sisters and make you pay for what you have done. Finish where the Hokage started, said a man coming towards him, giving him a rusted kunai, which was blunt and barely even sharp. We will make you feel every ounce of pain we felt that night, and you will beg for that but you will not be granted that so easily demon we will send you to the pits of hell from where you crawled out of but not before we had our fill with you as now we see the man stabbed the blunt kunai into the leg of the said child as the kid screamed his eyes filled with tears looking towards the man who was doing nothing but just relaxing and watching the show as if it was amusing as that is when the kunai was extracted, feel the pain and suffer more. As the people begin to chant this, as another stab appeared, but this time right into his ribs, into his lung, puncturing it, as Naruto was now having trouble breathing as well. As that is when the torture continued on for more than two hours, as the people enjoyed and the Anbu that was supposed to save him or watch over him was just enjoying on the side. Naruto was in deep pain and agony and was losing blood fast. As now we see, he turned completely pale and for a few moments and stabs he has been barely even screaming and holding on to dear life while blinking his eyes slowly every now and then to indicate that he was indeed alive. As the Anbu jumped in, hold on, that is enough, damn it, but we had a deal, we'll get to kill him tonight. No, if you do I'll lose my job and you'll lose your fun. You want the demon to suffer, don't you? I get to be a hero after saving him and you all get to be free with your fun. That was the end of the deal, but we paid you to let us end him tonight. I almost let you, didn't I? But if he dies, the Hokage will have my back for it. I don't want that, you know? Or else, would you like to go down with me? N no, we're good. Good. So we have an understanding, gentlemen. How about you go and enjoy some beer? Yeah, we'll do that. Enjoy the festival and leave this mess to me. As now we see, everyone began to leave as no the Anbu bent down to the kid. <laughs> you thought I was gonna rescue you every time, you damn demon. You took away someone precious to me as well. And I, 
for one was the one who organized this mob. Rile them up like stupid idiots. They have been doing this for years and even paying me. <laughs> They're cherry on top and I get to enjoy your torture without getting my hands dirty. It's a win-win for me, kid. You have been helping me become rich and not only that, but also having a lot of promotions. Soon they're gonna put me in charge of a team. It's gonna be sad that I won't be in charge of you, but to hell with it. I had my fair share of fun and a lot of awards thanks to you, kid. <laughs> not like you're gonna tell anyone, because if you do, I can just end you. Make it look like an accident, said the Anbu. But that is when he saw something. Naruto's eyes, they were turning red completely as the man jumped behind. What are you? As that is when Naruto lifted himself in a levitating form and began to levitate, hover above the ground. As Naruto's eyes were still red, as he blitz and appeared in front of the Anbu. You wanna have fun and a ward? How about I have something in return as well? After having you made so much, call it a return on investment. What? What are you talking about, you demon? The man punched Naruto with all his force, but to his surprise, his hand was the one that cracked and was broken. What? How is this possible? The man thought to himself as he screamed in agony, while the people stopped and watched the demon beating the, well, Anbu. As Naruto then did something that was much more sinister and shocked them to their core, he placed both of his hands against the skull of the man and smashed it, squishing his skull like it was like a berry that released its pulp. As Naruto, covered in blood, has a sinister smirk. Some of the people then begin to run into the alleyways, calling that the demon has arrived, the demon is here to kill them, gathering shinobis, anbus, and even hokage, and the clansmen. While on the other side, Naruto released huge amount of laser beams from his eyes, eradicating the mob that was standing there, a lot of buildings, and a lot of people were killed that night, due to his beams. As that is when we see Hiruzen arrive there, Naruto, what are you doing? Naruto, huh? Oh, I see. I remember now. You're his GD, was it? You're supposed to be my guardian. And yet you allow these people to torture me. I told you that these people will learn in time, and in the meantime I suffer? You are a bigger man than them, Naruto. So I'm sorry, I'm petty, it was in Sarutobi. I'm way too petty said Naruto as he began to walk towards HALT, said Shinobis. If you move any closer, we'll be forced to engage, Naruto. Go ahead and try. As they all did, but Naruto was still moving. They were punching using jutsus after jutsus and even genjutsu, but seemingly it wasn't working on Naruto. What kind of jutsu is he using to make his strength so much? As that is when someone said, Dynamic Entry, as in came Might Guy. To hold on, Hakage-sama. Leave this to me. As Guy charged, releasing his weights to the ground towards Naruto. As Naruto grabbed his hand first hand as huge gust of wind flew by and cracked, causing his hand to strain and even be in pain. Everyone was shocked to see Guy was the one who was in pain and Naruto smirking while he was levitating. Is that all? As that is when he said, First gate, second gate, third gate, fourth gate, fifth gate, release! As the strength increased, pushing Naruto's hand a bit back, but Naruto increased his strength. As he made Ga Guy bow down, as he clenched his fist harder around his knuckle. Now, tell me this, is this all you got? Damn it! Damn it all! To hell with this! Eight gate, open! As all the way to the eight gates, Nolan was now the one who was being pushed back. As now we see... Naruto smirked, my oh my, quite a strong formidable shinobi, aren't you? As Naruto then said, my turn. As he re retracted his other fist and punched straight through the chest of Might Guy. As his fist was on the other side. And all that was within the chest vicinity of Guy was destroyed and turned into molecule bits. As Guy's face expression was that of horror and shock. As even in 8th gay state, he couldn't do anything and was dead. Everyone else was shocked as well. They for the first time saw Guy using the eighth gate and Guy ended up dead, defeated by Naruto. Wasn't the eighth gate supposed to be the most strongest taijutsu ever? You killed Guy. 
said Guy's friends as they charged towards Naruto. But it was a bloody massacre. Naruto kids killed many, many shinobis that night. They became so fearful that they began to retract, as Naruto smirked and said, Do not follow me. I have a lot to think about. Old man, if you do, Naruto's eyes turn red. I'll finish what I started. Mark my words. As after that, Naruto flew away, blitzing into the air, shocking them all once more. That, that was not the demon, was it? Said a shinobi next to Hiruzen. I don't think so. We didn't felt any chakra from him, Okagasama. I see. Whatever that was, whatever that we have awakened, it is damn right sinister. It shouldn't even exist. As now we see, next morning came, and the atmosphere in the village was quite solemn. Turns out more than 800 people have died that night. 300 shinobis that were Ganins, 200 that were Anbus, and 100 that were, well, Jonins, while the rest, they were civilians' casualties, and killed by a person who didn't even use chakra from what they have gathered. This was something within Naruto that has awakened that has been never heard or seen before. As now we see, inside the council chamber, a rampage of its own was going on as they were yelling and screaming at each other. But the moral of everyone saying was that they need to hunt down and kill Naruto to bring justice of what he has done. Because he was irredeemable. And he has given them a warning that he will finish what he has started. As Hiruzen then said, Enough! I have ordered Jiraiya and many others when they are on missions and outside, to go and search for him. Even the daimyo is worried, Hiruzen, said Danzo. After hearing this news, he said that it is too disturbing and he cannot allow such a power to exist because it might even threaten the rule of the daimyo if it is able to threaten the strongest elemental nation such as Konoha. <sighs> Damn it, Danzo. He had to go and tell him this. So he has authorized us to utilize our all resources and hunt him down. Well, what are we waiting for then? Let's begin the hunt. And that is when they decided to begin with their hunting journey of Naruto. But five years went by like that, and no sign of Naruto was ever found by them, making them even more frustrated and shocked that how can a nine-year-old disappear for five years straight without leaving any trace behind? But then again, he killed more than 700 people the night he left traumatizing Konoha and staining Konoha with a, another horrifying memory much bigger than the QB attack. Attack in its own right, giving the name of the attack of the demon himself. As now we go towards the Hokage office, where we see Hiruzen reading the reports and slamming them on the table. Damn it! Why is the time you're forcing me to find him so much? And how come not even Jiraiya, his spy network, and not even a single tracker shinobi was able to locate him? Damn it, where in the hell did the kid disappear to? Said Hiruzen, frustrating and almost pulling out his hair. So now we go towards Naruto. For the past five years, a lot of things have happened to him. He escaped the village the night he awoke in his powers and memories of the previous life. He remembered that he was known as Nolan or Omni-Man in his world. He was a Viltrumite sent to his planet where he became a hero in order to conquer it. But after having his son, Mark, everything changed. He was killed by their leader and that is when everything turned blank for him. And the next thing he knew, he was here, being ambushed by these people. And in the form of flashes, he began to have the memories of his past, the previous life. But Nolan, now turned into Naruto, now knew that. He no longer needs to fulfill his mission or previous life's duty, since he was no longer bound to them. But he also found out something more interesting. The inner voice within him, the Kyubi no Yoko itself. When they had their first meeting during this journey, we cut to that and see that Krama was quite shocked to see Naruto in his original form of Nolan. A huge man with mustache, white hair, with top being black and looking like a normal man, just a little bit buff. And who might you be? You are not from here that I can tell. You possess extreme strength, and yet it is not Chakra. I am a Viltrumite. My name is Nolan, known as Omniman from my planet. 
I was killed by a stronger Veltramite than me. And the next thing I knew, I was here, ambushed by them. They called me a demon, so I'm assuming they meant that to you. As the QB crowd, they label me as such. I'm no such thing as a demon. I see. As Naruto then said, fascinating. What is? You are. A huge fox with nine tails that can speak. You know, back at my planet, I only thought that it, you were nothing more than a mythology creature. A myth. And this chakra bullshit? Yeah, the concept exists, but it is way more different than here. Able to visualize it in the form of attacks, weapons. Fascinating indeed. But these humans have turned it into a weapon. It wasn't supposed to be that. How so? As from then on, Kurama revealed his true name and identity to Nolan since he saw that the man was already strong enough and didn't need it his strength because he was strong enough to defeat 700 men on their own in a single night while he escaped and didn't even bother to use even an ounce of chakra within his body. As after telling him and explaining to him about the bijus and what they were and how they were created by the sage of the sixth path known as Hagaromo, who distributed the chakra to the whole world, which was originally given to him by his mother, Kagi Otsutsuki, and the concept of ten tails and the whole Otsutsuki clan, Nolan just found it fascinating and quite interesting and curious. You know, I want to meet other bijus like you. You, for one, I can tell, are quite fascinating creatures. Beings with so much potential and knowledge. It is certainly fascinating. Why would you like to meet us? What would you gain? I'm bored and have nothing else to do. I regain my memories of previous life of being a warrior that was betrayed and killed by his own leader. And now I'm here without any mission or purpose or even cause. What do you think I would do? Sit around? Wait for them to find me? No. I'm trained enough to know that if I sit around, they will be likely to find me. So I'm gonna go out and blend in. But while doing so, I am going to continue to search for the others. Alright, I guess that works for both of us. As now we cut to the present and see Naruto has been ever going on his search and quest to find out other Jinchurigis and meet other Bijus. Just because he was bored and had nothing better to do since he was no longer bound to his previous duties. And while searching so, he was blending in completely, completely avoiding the suspicions of the others. Since he was ever growing strong and his abilities were more and more getting powerful without anyone now being able to touch him, he was able to take care of himself within the woods, live there without any worry, as well as get his supplies from there as well. As now we see, after somewhat years of searching, we see Naruto reach at the entrance of Takigakure. And after entering within, Naruto began to question about the Jinchuriki and Abiju, and they all slurred at him, calling him a demon lover and so on. And someone who was kind enough to the girl told him, an old lady, that the poor soul will be found in the night time whenever she is chased around. It, and made Naruto promise that if, she, if he can, please save her and take her away. Naruto looked towards the old woman and nodded. As in the night time we see, as the wo woman said, a little girl similar to his age, with green hair and tan skin, much more tanner than him, with orange eyes, was being chased by a huge mob. The girl was covered in wounds already and had tears in her eyes. Naruto suddenly has flashbacks of him, or, well, his child self, now merging with him completely, and felt surge of rage. As he appeared, hovering above them, and punched the man who was the leader, the force of punch was more than enough to not only turn the man to, well, particles, but also the others from the shockwaves of it. Almost all of them were killed completely, as Naruto to the few men who were standing there, as his fist was covered in blood and so was his face, then said, Leave. And hearing his deep low voice and the force of his attack, they understood the assignment and dashed as fast as they could away from there. As Naruto moved towards her, Are you alright? Please don't hurt me. I, I swear I didn't do anything wrong. You see, Naruto, this is how the Jinchuriki lives. If it wasn't for you awakening your previous life, I'm afraid that you would have died or lived that life. As Naruto clenched his fist again. We need to find others. And fast. If there are many more of us out there, it's hardly that they're enjoying their life if it is like this. As now we see, Naruto took 
flew with him and flew to the air, disappearing from that village. As he stopped midair, with rage so much filled that he looked down, his eyes turning red for a moment, but he was stopped by Kurama. If you do this, you will get into the eyes of Konoha, and they will come after you. Remember, you're not alone anymore. Damn it. Fine. Thank you for reminding me, Kurama. Otherwise, I would have made the mistake. As now we see, Naruto didn't know where he was flying to, but he knew that he had to get far away from that pathetic village. But by luck, he bumped and stumbled upon at the, well, village that was a pit stop for Sunagakure. A village hidden in the sand dunes, just on the outer skirts of it. As Naruto, after renting a room, let Fu rest there. And after some time, Fu wounds began to heal as she woke up with a gasp. Where am I? You're alright, Fu. I rescued you last night. What? Oh, uh, who, who are you? I am Naruto. I am someone like you. I hold the nine-tailed beaju within me. Just like you hold the seven-tailed bijus. As Fu's eyes widen, they are, are more like me? I heard there are many bijus out there, like Chaume said, but I, I did not knew that. Chaume, was it? Would you mind if I talk to him? I, I, yeah, I guess. Thank you for saving me. As after that we see, inside the mindscape, Naruto appeared in his own form, as Kurama and Chaume stood face to face. Kurama, it is nice to see that you have attracted a little larva to your side as well. He is not little, and this larva, as you call him, is quite strong. What is going on with your Jinshuriki? Why is she so afraid? What happened to her? Weren't you supposed to be the peaceful of all of us from what I have heard? Is that correct? said Naruto. Ah, <sighs> You know how the corruption runs in the veins of these people. They just want to gain power. Taki was planning to make her into a brainless soldier of theirs, their attack dog. So that they could become a... Well... Shinobi village of their own. And a sixth one, and the strongest one as well. And turns out that this plan failed badly thanks to me and, well, Fu's resistance. But it costed her a lot. As Fu looked down in tears as Naruto arrived and gave her a hug. Everything is fine now. You're okay. Let it all out. As Fu, for the first time, let it everything out and cried on a shoulder. She had a shoulder to cry upon, as that is when she remembered. Wait, who, who told you about me? It was an old lady. What? What are you talking about? There, What old lady? You know the old lady that lives on the other skirts of the village in a rusty old building? She told me that you needed to be rescued. What was she like? And after explaining her facial features as best as he could, Fu's eyes were, no way. He cannot be. What are you talking about? She died three years ago, trying to protect me. Her own son killed her. Madam Chen. She was the only one who was kind to me. Are you saying that it was her? As Chaume then said, was... Fu said is correct, Naruto. She has been dead for the past three years. <sighs> I don't understand how I was able to meet her. But what I know is that I was able to rescue her through, through her. So, I'm glad that she helped in some way. And if it helps you, you can stay here with me. You don't have to go back. We'll be on our own, but we'll be safe. What are we even gonna do? Find more like us. R really? Yes, I aim to meet each and every Biju. Because I find it fascinating. As Ch Chaume then looked towards Kurama. Yeah, he kind of wants to meet all of us. So that is why he has been on a journey for as long as I can remember and, well, formed a pact with him of a sort. Well, what do you say, Fu? Do you want to? Said Chome, as Naruto then said. It's alright if you want to decline. I, I will, you know, understand and move on. But know this, if you go back, they will hunt you down again. Naruto, that is not nice to say, said Chome. I know, but I'm stating the facts. I have seen firsthand how brutal they can be and how manipulative they can be. As Fu then said, I I'll stay with you. Please, I don't want to go back. I don't want to be found by them. Good choice, good girl. As now we see that Naruto and Fu then ventured to the nearest village 
Turns out it was Sunagakure, and they were near it. As uh, soon as they arrived, in late night, they saw that a huge monster began his attack. As Naruto then said, so that is the one tails Shikaku, right? As the Anbus and Shinobis of the said village tried their best but were thrown around like ragdolls, a man hovering above the air appeared in front of Shikaku. You, who are you? As with using his red beams of eyes, he turned the sand into glass and punched it, causing Shikaku's whole body to crumble down and Gara to be awakened. And before he could well, fall down to his death, Naruto grabbed him and flew away from there to their hideout back where Fu and he began their journey to the Suna. As now we see, after Gara woke up, Naruto then said, Everything is fine. We talked to Shikaku, he won't bother you again. What? What do you mean by that? You can rest now, Gara. You're one of us. And we protect our own. Now tell us. Who did this to you? My my own father. As after listening to Gara's whole story and how his life went through, Naruto was burning with rage again. I can't believe this. I cannot contain myself any longer, Kurama. I need to vent out. As Kurama then said, You know what? Shikaku is the littlest of all, our little brother. He has been through hell a lot, even if he's a little bit psychotic. Go ahead, be my guest. And what happened next was, Suna saw someone hovering above with red eyes at their Kage's office. And what happened next was, Gara's father, alongside most of the village, was well redesigned by the heat vision of Naruto, as two beams fired throughout the village killing many people and even their Kage. Naruto released the beams with such rage that the beams went deeper into the earth and shattered across two whole villages. From It began from Sunagakure all the way to the Takigakure and everything in between was burned, drawing a huge line of destruction as this was an event that was noticed by not only, well, the said villagers who were the target of it, but by the whole elemental nation, even the daimyos, as they felt fear for the first time, because that power that did this could be quite destructive and menacing, and if it was an offensive power against them, their, well, whole territory could be in danger. So, they called out their village, Kages to have a meeting with each other and turns out Sasuna was the one who didn't show up. Turns out their Kazekage was dead and a replacement was sent which was Baki. As, as soon as the meeting began, Konoha's Hokage Hiruzen stood up. I know someone who has done this to our village before. Five years ago. We thought he disappeared but he has appeared again. Who? Remember that one night on October 10th Five years ago, 700 people of Konoha died. Yeah? It, I thought it was the Biju being released into something. No. The kid didn't even use Chakra. Kid? What are you talking about? Said Baki. From what I remember, it was, it was a teen. Obviously, he would be a teen now. Said A. Continue, Hokage. Said A with narrowed eyes. The Raikage of Kumo. I don't know what happened, but he warned us that if, they fo if we followed him, he will come back to finish what he started. With a single blow that night, he killed 700 of my men. We have tra tried to track him down for the past 5 years, to no success. His name is Naruto Uzumaki, and he is the Jinchuriki of the Ninetales, who has gone rogue out there. As everyone's eyes widen. So you mean that he doesn't even use a bit of chakra and he has still this much destructive power? Damn it. How come I did not knew? As Oniki finished this, he was in the set and he's also an Amekaze. What? You mean his his child? Yes. As he, he was in witness that Oniki was on board with this because of his revenge with Minato. He was swears their allegiance to Konoha. As long as Konoha cooperates for this m madness hunts down, this monster needs to be put down in an instant. I cannot risk Kiri, so I am in as well, said Mei Terumi. Aiden said, huh. Fine, we're in on this, but only if we find him threatening to us, we will intervene. Aside from that, no. 
we obviously will help out because he has killed our Kazekage and many others and taken our Biju as well. Turns out that Takigakure has also been suffered by him. As now we go towards Naruto, where he, Kara and Fu were sitting far away in the woods. You know your action must have caused a lot of, well, attention to us Naruto. I know. What do you plan to do? said Kurama. I don't know for the time being, but I know one thing Kurama. I will kill them if they come after me. Or my people. What do you mean by my people when you say that? As Nolan or Naruto's eyes widen. I I don't understand what you're trying to say. You called us your people, Naruto. Maybe you're not as bad as you say you were in the previous life. Maybe Naruto's goodness have rubbed on off you, Nolan. I'm not Lonen Nolan anymore. Nolan is dead, but his abilities live within you, doesn't it? said Kurama. It does. You despise it? No. Only thing I despise about this is that I let my son down. I let Mark down. Well, you're not the father of Mark anymore. You're neither Nolan as you said. You are Naruto Uzumaki, a teenager who claims that we are his people. You are our leader, Naruto. I, Kurama, the oldest Biju, accept you as our leader. As Naruto's eyes widen. Then put your trust in me, said Naruto with a smirk on his face, because I will protect you all. If it comes to that, I will destroy and conquer them all as well, if it has to be pushed that far. As that is when, we go back to Konoha, where a lot of shinobis were gathered, and in front of them stood Jiraiya and Hiruzen and the other Kages at one side. Greetings, everyone. You all have been selected hand and handpicked carefully after thorough examination and testing to make a task force. Your mission and objective is only one. Track down Naruto and hunt him down and alert the others. And Jiraiya will be leading you in this. This is our only hope in achieving peace because that power cannot be allowed to exist for the future and sake of elemental nation survival. This task is necessary. Do you understand? Hi, said everyone in unison. Now go out there and finish your mission, soldiers. As all of them disappeared into the shadows. As Onki then said, I hope I, we know what we are doing. I mean, that power that the kid possesses, we even not know what he has. We are the elemental nations. Once enemies now combined in strength, we will be able to topple him. I don't know what happened to that innocent kid. I once knew, but he is no longer that. He is a monster that needs to be put down. For good. I'm sorry, Minato. Kushina. There isn't thought to himself, but this is the only way for the sake of whole village. Konoha. That it is needed to be done. While this was going on in the elemental nations, we go towards Amegakure, inside which a secret of its own was hidden, known as Akatsuki. An organization that consisted of the most dangerous individuals in the whole elemental nation. And they were currently having a meeting of their own. So all you have heard why we have gathered here. I don't need to remind you that Naruto Uzumaki, one of our targets, has become the target of the whole elemental nation after almost eradicating many villages aside from the two major ones, Takigakure and Sunagakure. He has been the bane of, well, most of the Kages, and they all are fearful for him. Said one member of the Akatsuki, Painsama, what is needed to be done is to find him and kill him, and extract the Biju from him first. But won't that interrupt the plan? Said Atachi, one of the Uchihas from Konoha, and also a rogue. It will be dealt with later on, but right now, everything that matter is Naruto and him being taken care of. What is needed to be done is, we join hands with them. What? It's like, simple fact, enemy of my enemy is my friend. So right now, we need to do is, band together with the other five nations and aid them in this battle. We will follow the Jiraiya and his task force that has been sent to search him down after they have gotten some clues thanks to Jiraiya's spy network. And once we find him, we will be the one to declare the war on him. And end him and take the Biju when the time is right. Huh. That is good enough, 
So all of you agree? Yes. Then let's commence this mission. As now we cut to Jiraiya, as we see him and his task force rushing inside the forest that were on the outer skirts of Suna itself, after the desert was crossed and the border of the Elemental Nations map began to appear. As they have been on this journey for the past three weeks, and it took them three weeks to get here. Jurasama, we have some chakra signatures nearby. All of them are strong. Far too much stronger than any shinobi. Hmm, Bijus. So this must be where the other two Bijus are. As that is when they saw that someone blazed in front of their faces. You are in my territory. What do you want? Naruto. You are under arrest for your as Naruto picked him up in a neck choke while everyone was now scared because they knew what the kid could do. As Jiraiya was lifted off with a single hand and tried to use his whole strength to free him but he couldn't. You see Jiraiya? Was it? As Naruto then said, I told you, I told all of you that if anyone comes after me I'll finish them and yet why? As that is when Jiraiya said, you're too dangerous for this world. And if you exist, the prophecy will fulfill, which is the destruction of the whole elemental nation as we know it. And it cannot be allowed. Huh. <laughs> prophecy and stuff, huh? To hell with that. You know what? I have been in having quite a rough time because I couldn't locate the other Jinchurikis while I'm trying to find them. And on top of that, you have been annoying me to no end. You know that? I have killed a lot of people who said that they work for the greater good. And something about them tells me that they're connected to you. Is that right? What of it? Huh. So you're their leader, huh? Good knowing you, Jiraiya of the Sonin, said Naruto as he crushed his jaw with a single hand as Jiraiya was now in deep agony. As Naruto punched him in the skull, causing his skull itself to rip apart from his body as a huge amount of blood flew out and Jiraiya was killed in an instant, Tch, covering my hand and clothes in blood. Now, as for you all, as huge beams were fired and screams were heard throughout the forest, as everyone was killed. As now we see Naruto then begin to turn and go back towards his hideout where some people from the shadows appeared again. I told you I had enough. We're not them, Naruto Uzumaki. You are going down now, because we are gods. <laughs> gods, huh? Let's see how you handle almighty push, as Naruto was pushed back, as that is when the Akatsuki began their planned assault. But that is when, seemingly when they looked like they were winning, Naruto began to laugh. <laughs> is this all you have? To be honest, I was expecting some bit more from the other ones that I killed. But you're not that special. All that god and bullshit. You're nothing more than the insects that they are. The only difference is that you wish something else aside from them and have a bigger ego. As after that, Naruto then said, You want to see something akin to a god? He blitz boss by them, and when he stopped, the rest of the Akatsuki had their neck moving backwards. Even Pain himself had, This is what you call a god strength. As all of them, due to their neck being broken, were killed as the real Nagato, feeling too much trauma and pain, suffered from a grave heart attack and died in the original place. And so, the Akatsuki themselves were killed. Hmm. Kurama, why are there so many people now following me and attacking me? They're not gonna stop Naruto. They're gonna just continue to come after you because they see you as a threat as Jirai mentioned. All that prophecy bullshit. What was it about? Do you know anything? Hardly, kid. I don't know anything as such as that prophecy. <laughs> they are even corrupt that they ruined the prophecy in their own favor to make it look like that killing you is justified. <laughs> How very bothersome. As now we see in Arthur said, You know what? Fuck it. I have been trying to avoid this, but it seems like my duties always find me, even after my death. Said Naruto with a smirk. What are you talking about? What duties, Naruto? It is stopped to think like Naruto and start thinking like Nolan, the world's might. What do you mean by that? I'm gonna conquer this planet. It's high time I do that and fulfill my mission. But for who? For myself. 
As after that, Naruto flew into the air, leaving huge crater behind. As what happened next was an all-out massacre of the Hokage in front of their respective village, breaking each and every village and each and every person's mind by killing the person in power in front of them. Public executions and a lot of tortures were done. As now we see, the world finally gave in and surrendered to him when they were little to no existing people. As Naruto then said, this planet is under a new regime, mine, Naruto Uzumaki's, the Viltrumite King. As now we see, the whole world bowed down to his will. The Jinchurikis were presented and there was a method found for them to live and the Bejis to be freed, as Naruto even freed Kurama from him. And so did his friends, Gara and Fu, the only people he could trust. As Fu didn't like where this was going, but she knew that if it was the other way around, these people would have killed them in the blink of an eye. And as for the matter of fact, she also got to God her revenge on those people that were torturing her to no end, and revenge for Miss Chen, the only woman who rescued her and worried about her even after her death. And as for Naruto, no one, I mean no one, was capable, capable enough of lifting his eye towards him without fear in their eyes. At the age of 15 year olds, Naruto has done something that nobody thought was possible. Executed all daimyos, executed everyone who was in power from Kages all the way to the councilmen to the clan heads to even the daimyos and their knights. No one was able to survive. He became the only ultimate power there was. Now we have a time skip of 10 years. As in these 10 years, many things have changed. The elemental nations were now a single nation, known as the Viltrumite Kingdom, under the regime of Naruto Uzumaki, known as the Tyrant Dictator, the Viltrumite, the Harbinger, the Destroyer, and many more titles were given to him. He was regarded as the Tyrant who was mad enough to kill anyone for the slightest of mistakes. But to those who he saved and were closest to him that he trusted, he was the kindest to them all. And the people who were closer to him and get to know him knew that he was a just king. But to the enemies, he was a dictator. There were many rebellions in these 10 years and each time they were crushed more badly than before, leaving no hope that his power could be crushed. Even Otsutsukis arrived and they tried their best, but they even failed. He held their skulls on his throne as trophies, from Kaguya's, Momoshiki's, Ishiki's and even Kishiki's, all of their heads were displayed like crown jewels of his victory. As for Naruto, he was a king of his own empire that he couldn't build in his previous world. He has fulfilled his mission, but for his own sake. And as for his friends and his family, he was planning to begin them with someone that he has found love with, Fu. The only friend that he found attractive with. He was no longer Nolan. He reminded himself he was Naruto in his new life. And as for anyone who even thought of going against him, as soon as it appeared, the flashbacks of deaths of those who tried before them appeared in their mind. And knowing the consequences, all hope was lost. And now only one power remained, Naruto Uzumaki himself. As this is where I'm going to be leaving this short movie off guys. I hope you enjoyed this one and if you did then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you like the content of this channel as this is Apollo Uchiha and I'm signing off for the day. Peace.